Yo, what is good guys? It's your boy Bino. I'm finally back. I got a brand new shoe for you guys, of course, as always. And this time, it's not like a regular Jordan. It's not like a regular Nike Dunk or any Nike or any Nike shoe particular. Nike basketball shoe. And to top it off, it's a KD-15. Now, I know you're gonna say, Oh, KD, like, why did you get the KDs? Like, they're not even that popular. I'm gonna tell you again, the KDs are popular. They're really sort of a unique basketball shoe that you can hope in for as for any basketball player. It can be a guard, guard from a big man. So that's one thing I like about KDs. And KDs has always been like more accessible for guards and big men since the KD1s, I believe. Well, not the KD1s, since the KD6s. Since the KD6s, I see most guards wear. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut myself off from there short, but to show y'all, I know it hasn't hit the stores, but I do know that I got the KD15 Brooklyn Nets. And of course, bought this on StockX always. StockX, they got everything, particularly. But the KD15 Brooklyn Nets, I had to get these because I see most people on YouTube get the beginnings and the ambient. Like, I wasn't gonna try to repeat what they got but i would say i said to myself you know what let me get a different colorway of the kd15 so people can see that oh there's different colors got you instead of buying them on the nike app and stuff like that but yeah i also have i think blue tints but i call them the charlotte hornets in some way but they're gonna have more when they actually release in september but let's get to the point so this, K, this Brooklyn Net KD15 that I got in my hands is like absolutely amazing. It's also reproducing fiber on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see the little details on there, but as I'm looking at it from my end, there's a, the bottom sole, which I like the most because they it's easy to grip your foot on the court and, not, and you won't slip and fall. I don't know if it's good for outdoors. They have that perfect outline mesh material securing the front on the top. And they also have that threaded material, that fiber thread material on turn apart. And what I like about this color is that there's so many ways to look at it. It can be gray, it can be green. I'm seeing a little bit greenish right here. I don't know if y'all can peep that, but I'm seeing on my side, I'm looking at a little bit tint light, light green, a little bit, but it's, it's cool though. That's what makes it much more interesting. And on the side, we're on the little back of the heel. It says Easy Money right there. As those of you who do not know, KD has his Easy Instagram. Money. But I'm not going to say the rest. I'm just going to let y'all know that first name of his IG is Easy Money. That's it. Easy Money. I'm not going to say that last part because some of y'all are weirdos on social media. I'm not saying my fans, but I'm saying some of y'all who, you know, have obsession with people. But I'm not going to go there. But one thing I like about is that this little plastic material, this plastic, the shiny, well, I would say semi-shiny plastic material that's securing the top side of the shoe. It's like, it's kind of showing me like a reflection color, you know, almost like a little bit of blue and grayish combined together. It's sort of weird, but you can't really describe it, but it's really good. And the air zoom on the midsole, the, the midsole is gray, but this air zoom piece right here it's orange and we already know it's compacted with three different layers of air zoom and on the back of it it says number seven KD's number it says quality inspired by Kevin Durant and it's funny because they're now trying to replace everyone's name because they got that from Jordan the greatest player the quality of the greatest player ever played a game and they're doing that with this it's a good shoe it's really a good shoe and on the insole as well this is kd almost like in you know bandana cut and bandana cut style but yeah it's pretty dope i like the shoe a lot it's really comfortable first time i wore it it was very comfortable it's a little bit snug on your feet but after you wear it a couple of times you'll get used to it what else can i say um yeah it's it's perfect really it's actually perfect what's this i didn't even see this part right here and the tongue has this like style pattern right there i don't know what it is but uh, i sneezed but 
I don't know. It's kind of really dope, though. I don't know what this is, but hey, I love this pair. I'm happy I bought it. And yeah. Oh, I forgot one more thing. If y'all look at this part right here on the bottom that I'm touching, it says easy. And I don't know if the other shoe says money, but no, nah, it says easy as well, too. Oh, couldn't hurt to try, but let me know how y'all feel about these or where to find these. I'll tell you where to get them as long as you hit me up on my IG, which is Bino underscore 1999 EST. And um, for those of you who wanted me to wear this, I am going to wear them, so don't worry about that. I know a couple of my boys on uh, IG, they said, like, they if I ever get this, they were like, let me know how it goes. So I'm doing a review right now, y'all. And trust me, they're comfortable. And I recommend y'all to get in them because they are really, they're really good. They're really good for the court. I was thinking, but who knows? Maybe I'll get a second pair for y'all and just show how it looks. But yeah. Until then, y'all, I thank y'all again for watching my video, taking your time to watch me, of course, your good old buddy Bino, explaining some sneakers and more on foots and performance tests, but we have a lot coming. Stay tuned, because I got another pair for you guys. It's, I call this the Lazy Pack, but I hope y'all enjoy your day. Happy Friday, and stay blessed. I'm gonna fuck up my life